everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another massive Tesco shop and today I managed to get a hundred different items for about a hundred pounds. So I thought I'd show you guys again what I've got. These videos seem to be really popular and you guys seem to like them so I will keep doing them. Um, it is just typically like our weekly or two weekly or monthly shops and to be honest I quite like watching videos like this as well. I get a lot of inspiration from other mums, from other people doing their shopping so you guys know how this works now I will make my way through every single item that I've bought try to put them into different sections to make it a lot easier to show you guys what I've got and I have found some real good bargains today once again and I hope you guys enjoy don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this and if you want to see what I bought then just keep watching so we're going to start out over here in the dried food section this week so Starting off, you know I love my spaghetti, so I've already picked up two packs of the Hearty Food Company spaghetti, and these are about 20p per pack. I've picked up two cans of the tuna chunks in brine. I am always using the um, chopped tomatoes, so I picked up one, two, three, four tins of the chopped tomatoes, and two tins of my favourite soup which i've mentioned in videos before and it is the plant chef rich tomato and basil this is so good i can't say it enough picked up some deals on the club card off there and these Belvita cocoa with choc chips and um, biscuit bars were in the deal so i think these were only like 99p but i thought these would be good on the go and if jamie's got work early he can just grab one of these and have the energy Picked up some Rockies, because I haven't had Rockies since I was, like, oh, in my teens. I used to have them in my lunchbox for, like, school and stuff, and I used to love them, so I thought I'd pick these up, and they were, like, 82p. Again, I think they were in the club card deal, but they were very cheap. Picked up some Jaffa Cakes. I don't like Jaffa Cakes. This is a controversial uh, topic, because my husband absolutely loves them, but I just can't get on with chocolate orange stuff like like this no not for me not for me needed some more cereal so I picked up the uh, multi-grain boulders and I will eat these and I will give Amelia some of these as well because they're just the multi-grain ones she doesn't tend to have too many um but we thought we'd give these a go see how she likes those the crisp section I've picked up quite a few bits here because we're actually going away pretty soon and we're going to stay in a really nice cottage. So I needed to stock up on some snacks for us to take for us all to have. So I picked up two packs of the Stockwell Tortilla Chips. Again, super cheap. I think they're like 40p a bag, but they are really tasty. Picked up these Tesco Finest cheddar and red onion and I'm pretty sure I've had these ones before but I'm, I think they may have changed the packaging on them and also the sea salt and black pepper crisps as well picked up a super cute little bag of quavers there's six packets in here I can't actually remember how much these were but everyone loves quavers hiding at the back I've got my 15 free range eggs over here we have some pita breads. I like to stock up on these. Obviously because it's Easter coming up, I had to pick up some hot cross buns. I haven't had these in ages. So again, I'm looking forward to trying these. Um, and they looked really good when I saw them. So everyone loves hot cross buns. Moving down to Amelia's Foods. They had some really good deals on the Kiddylicious range and the Organics range. So I don't know whether they're getting rid of them or what, but they were relatively cheap. So. As I mentioned, we're going away, so I'm going to need some snacks for like the car journey and just whilst we're there. So I've got the veggie straws and, oh, these are the cheese flavour and uh, normal flavour. Some veggie mini mix-ups. Not too sure what these are. Some fruit wriggles. And these are just like strawberry flavoured like fruit things, which I'm sure Amelia will love. And another pack of cheesy straws down here. Some mini oat and banana flapjack bites. We haven't actually tried these ones, but we have had a lot of the other organics range. So once again, I'm sure my daughter will love these. 
some veggie buttons at the back. She's had these before and loves those. And these are the mixed pepper flavour. And I just picked up one of the green veggie pouches. Again, super handy to have with just a meal if you want to get some quick vegetables into your baby. <laughs> she can just enjoy this. But yeah, picked up one of those. Moving on to the back. These are the nappies that we use. These are the Fred and Flow ones. At the moment, she's size six. So we've got the pull-up pants and also the normal nappies as well. And these were four pounds. I think they were four pounds as well. Down here, I've just got some bits for me. So I've just got some towels here and some tampons. And this coffee, I have two because this is our favorite coffee, the Nescafe Azira. It's usually like five pounds something per tin but they had a super good offer on for like two pound ninety per tin or something it was really good deal so we had to buy two to stock up on those moving across picked up a nice bottle of wine just to have for our journey oh my gosh not for our journey for when we actually go on the trip not to drink on the way for that um i have got some whole milk here and another Cravendale filtered um, semi-skimmed toilet rolls at the back just because again we're running out and we picked up our cream fields Greek style and natural yogurt you guys know this is what we have we absolutely love these they're just super cheap and really tasty and some creme fraiche as well I did pick up the 50% um, less fat creme fraiche I just find that it doesn't really taste any different and if it's that bit better for me then we will use it so moving down the big pack of the cathedral city this again was a club card deal I believe I think this originally is like 5 50 but the big pack was only three pound fifty tub of hummus because we go through it like anything and again our cream cheese as usual so in our like fruit and veg section, I didn't pick up too much fresh fruit and veg um, this week, but I picked up our peppers, a massive pack of kiwis, which were I think about 80p. And me and Amelia love kiwis. Some spring onions, cucumber, aubergine, bananas, which are completely green, which I'm not gonna be able to eat for a while. It's not so ripe and ready. They are not ripe and ready. Tesco. Come on now. See, this is the only thing. I did a click and collect for this order. I do enjoy going into the store and actually seeing the fresh fruit and veg before I choose them because this is the problem that you get. You get unripe bananas like this. We have got my favourite quiche, broccoli, tomato. Quiche here is really tasty. It has a really nice tomato layer down the bottom. So if you haven't tried a quiche or you're looking to try a new one, highly recommend this one. Got some frozen garlic breads just to stock up in the freezer. A medium whole chicken, which to be honest, this whole chicken, medium chicken looks relatively small, but there's lots of things we'll do with this. So we'll probably do risottos, fajitas, curries, that type of thing. Also picked up the chicken slices for sandwiches and stuff. And also a baby leaf salad. I may have shown this on a video before, but again, for when we go away for some snacks for us to have in the evening, picked up these Mediterranean platters. We tried one a few weeks ago and oh my goodness, you guys need this in your life. Highly recommend if you haven't um, tried them out before. They're in like a deal, I think at the moment for like two for four pounds on a mixed selection. But I just picked up two of these Mediterranean platters. So it comes with the olives, comes with the, uh, <laughs> hello, pimento stuffed cheese, sorry, pimento stuffed olives and salted broad beans. Oh my gosh, these are so good. But yes, I can't wait to dig into those soon. We have our favourite pies for the freezer. Again, these are the Hearty Food Company pies and they are just lovely. Some crispy potato pops for Amelia to have with her dinner. Are you laughing? Are you being cute? <laughs> and then again, just some freezer food because we didn't have much. 
in the way of um, sort of like freezer bites. These are the vegetarian mozzarella roasted vegetable and pesto melts. I haven't actually had these ones before, but they look so tasty. Can't wait to have those. Four of the vegetarian cauliflower cheese grills. Oh, these are so, so good. If you like cheese, you will love these because usually when you get things like this, they take they can taste pretty bland, but the amount of cheese that's in these is oh so good. So yes, these two are our sort of vegetarian options. Also picked up the southern fried chicken steaks. We like to have these with salads or put them in wraps or whatever. Picked up two of the British beef mints, um, beef mixes. Plan on doing some bolognese, etc. And tonight we are actually having a HelloFresh recipe. I think it's the cheesy Mexican hash. So we'll be using some of the mints for that. Picked up two pizzas. I picked up the chicken with a herb dressing pizza. And I also picked up the stone baked margarita pizza. Amelia's yogurts here, which are always good. So this was my problem. I ordered spinach, like frozen spinach on Tesco online. And I got there to pick it up. And this was my replacement. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's funny, isn't it? How can you directly replace spinach for just country, mi country mixed vegetables? Like, I could have just said, no, I don't want it, but these would be handy for the freezer anyway. But what an awful substitution. I find that Tesco does that sometimes. They have completely random things that they would substitute items for. Tesco, come on. On that topic, I also picked up, well, I also ordered some bread, so King's Mill bread. And they just outright just said, no, they didn't have it in stock. So they didn't even substitute that for anything. That could have been really easy to do. Anyway, moving on. This was my bargain. So I've not seen these before. The McCain Naked Oven Chips. And it's a massive bag. These were reduced to 62p online, which for the chips like this is amazing. So I don't know what they're going to be like. In my eyes, chips are chips, but they might be really nice, they might be awful, but for 62p, but we'd give it a go. And then the last thing I picked up was a broccoli and cauliflower floret mix, and that is pretty much everything. Nope, I completely lied. So next to little Benny over here, we have two lots of the Diet Coke Sublime Lime. Again, if you've watched our videos before, these are our favourite drinks ever. Um, they're just super tasty and they were, I don't think they were on off, but no, they were on offer. I think it was two for seven pounds. That's 20 cans for seven pounds, which is great. And that is everything in the haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know it's quite samey. I know it's very similar to what I usually get every shop, but I wanted to show you guys anyway, because I had a couple of sort of decent bargains in there. But if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give it a like as well. And let me know in the comments below if you have had any bargains like this before or if you've had any weird substitutions too, because I would love to know that I'm not the only one. But with that being said, we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.